the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development and partners from the private sector have been supporting efforts by the Shack Dwellers Federation to build houses for their members. In the past year, the ministry has given $10 million to the federation, while Ohorongo Cement, FNB and Pupkovitz have donated more than $16 million over the past six years. Together with their personal savings, Federation members have constructed over 700 houses in the Erongo region and about 130 of those are in Swakopmund. Communities in informal settlement have learned how, how they can upgrade the, the informal settlements. We, have, we are working together with, with Swakopmund municipality on constructing low-cost houses for our members. Construction of houses involving Federation members making their own bricks and excavating the foundation, and this help, helps to cut costs, plus service in the land ourselves. We would like to thank our government for availing funds to Federation, enabling us to construct our houses. At the handover of 32 houses, Urban and Rural Development Minister Erastus Utoni applauded the Federation for using a funding model that most communities can afford. The beneficiaries will be paying about $50,000 for each of these units. The government of the Republic of Namibia, through the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development, we are in the move. And we are in the move. And I'm committed with my team. We are in the move. No matter how difficult it is, we make sure we build these houses. Asho, are you also committed? You can say, I, uh, I, uh. no, let's, how difficult it is. Let's move forward. Let's commit. Let's develop Namibia. Let's develop Namibia. Not develop political things, no. Let's talk about economic development, isn't it? Where is the unity? Everything will move well. That is what we need to do. The Shack Dwellers Federation has appealed to the Swakopmund municipality to provide more land for housing projects. About 870 Federation members are still waiting to be accommodated at Swakopmund, while the overall housing backlog is 22,000 people.